Welcome back to the second part of the Fairy Swordfish uh, project. Uh, I realized that this uh, build is going to be a little bit complicated because I really want to weather and paint the uh, wings and since it's a double decker uh, I can't mount the wings. I should maybe mount the bottom part first and then after the paint job is done, I'm gonna maybe put on the top wings. But I have started here to mask the cockpit window, the small one. And it, if you can see, there's a small window down there. I added some uh, liquid mask on it. And I have another bigger one on the opposite side here. So I have to mask that one as well. It's easy to forget things like that and then you're screwed. So here we have the gunner and he can raise this gun. So it should be in this position. But we will fold it down now when we're building so we're not breaking this fragile little piece of equipment. So it's time to start put the primer on after the masking is done and I will also build the floats and the stands for the floats and I think when they are on it will be ready for painting. So haven't you subscribed to the channel please do it's absolutely free and hit the bell icon and please like this video so we can get more viewers and uh, this is also gonna be a giveaway uh, I haven't still found anyone that wanted the submarine so look at my live stream and comment on that video and I will uh, pick a winner. Okay. There are some things to consider when you're <coughs> building this little puppy. First of all, I wanted to include all the pilots, navigator and observer. So there are three people inside my mask here. And it took me at least one hour to just one hour. It took me several of hours to mask the cockpit area. But I think it's done now. So. It's time to prime this puppy and start painting it. <clears throat> and you can see I'm using a lot of different things. I'm using just regular paper, I'm using toilet paper and I'm using a liquid mask to seal everything up so it doesn't get painted. But I think it's gonna work well. And this is the worst uh, airplane I ever masked. so. I hope it's gonna work out fine. And I have <coughs> divided the build in several pieces. So this is one piece. And then we have the upper wings that I have mounted and glued. So this is one piece. And then I have the engine that is already painted inside and on the back side. So I need to mask this front cowl and just paint this cover in the back side here. So I haven't uh, masked this one yet. And these two lower parts of the wings is just gonna be primed. Because I want to weather everything before I mount it. So I will paint it, everything, and weather it, and then mount the uh, top and the lower bottom and all the, <clears throat> I forgot the name of those, bracing wires 
I have them here. They are in photo edge. So that's what's going on right now. And uh, I'm also gonna try out my new airbrush. I just bought this one. It's this from Mr. Hobby. It's a Creos. And it just feels lovely. The trigger is. I never felt anything like this. Uh, I used to have my other airbrushes, my HNS. And uh, I've been using this one for at least one year now. And I just uh, changed all the gaskets inside because it's really, really worn out. So, but it's still working. So this is for finer details. But the new one, I think, is gonna be awesome. So stay tuned. And this part, I haven't broken it yet. It's still there. But we will see. I made one mistake with this build. I forgot to put in the put in the instrument panel for the cockpit, but you can't see it when it's done, so I don't think it's matters. Shit happens and when the shit load comes, it comes heavy. Okay?
Okay, the plane is almost done and completed. Uh, it's a lovely kit, I can tell you that. And it's a large plane for the scale. Uh, and it's not the easiest model to build. I think this is actually the hardest model I have ever done. But everything fits together nice and and you really have to follow the instructions and be really, really careful because it's really easy to make mistakes. I made several mistakes and I'm going to tell you about those mistakes. Uh, first of all, I mounted this top wing in one piece so I could weather it down. I thought that was smart, but I missed uh, those pillars. They should be attached into the wing so I had to attach them on the outside so that was a big big mistake but I managed to get it completed anyway. Other mistakes I did I forgot to put in a small uh, instrument panel for the uh, for the pilot but you can't see it actually and, but that was a beginner's mistake as well. Uh, I had huge problems with this decal on the back. Uh, Tamiya decals are like uh, more like skin, uh, so I had a lot of decal fluid on this one, and I'm actually using Daco products. Uh, this is really top notch for decals. I can really recommend that one. And uh, what did I do more that wasn't quite right? No, I think that was the major problem, the top section of the wing that I did. And of course then I dropped the plane in the floor, so I it broke loose from the floats here, so I had to put some uh, super glue here. But that's nothing, nothing was broken, but I had to glue it. And this is how it looks like right now. <coughs> uh, it's almost completed. I'm just working on the ornaments and I'm gonna weather down the top side of the uh, wings and add some smoke and dust and 
Yeah, make it a little, little more weathered. Uh, the bracings, they are really, really, really hard to do. And uh, th those are an optional photo edge kit that you can buy with this model. And I really, really suggest that you buy this kit because I can't see that you can do this with some type of wires. Uh, they fit really nice so and there are plenty of them as you can see all around the airplane but it's a really really nice model but it's nothing for the beginner you have to be quite skilled I guess to build this one so now it's time to reveal this little puppy subscribe to the channel like this video <coughs> any comments or Welcome and be careful out there. It's a strange, strange world. And I was thinking of giving this airplane away, but it's really, really fragile. So I don't think I can send this to anyone. So I don't know what to do with this one. Maybe if some Swedish guy want to pick it up because I can't collect all the planes I'm building. Over and out.